What's up everybody, I'm Avatage and welcome back to Banished with our funky tunnel that has a tree sitting right inside it. <laughs> Should I have a bit of road there? Yeah, that'll probably get rid of it. I kind of like the tree there though. It's quite nice. Kind of like, no large objects through this tunnel please. <laughs> a couple of barns going? Wow, they're pretty full. <laughs> um, we're doing pretty well, as usual, thankfully. Let's just speed it up and burn through a bit because we're kind of in a moment of relative limbo. Our home to family ratios fairly very quickly, 93 to 84. So it's very um, close. Like we don't, don't want to just boost it quite yet. Got plenty of laborers here. Let's work on this a little bit. So we've got 18 laborers available. We're all full on this left-hand side of the screen, except for the herbalist, but herbalist doesn't really need much. We've got full stone cutters. We could do with a few more miners. And we could do with a few more vendors. Okay, let's do a whole heap more vendors. And everyone else is pretty full. Traders, again, I don't really know why we would need those traders. But let's chuck a couple in there anyway. <laughs> Just because. So now we've got a huge pool of vendors and stone cutters and miners. There's what, 20, 30, 40, 53 ish in there. So if we ever need any laborers, we can pull them from that pool. And it'll slow down that production, but it won't uh, ruin anything. <laughs> Got a big hole in the ground here, which is going to remain a hole in the ground. And the new one here, which is 59% already. God, they're ripping through that. I guess because I've got so many on the job. Bunch of stones sitting there. We have raised the limits as well, so there is that. We even have enough. I could even plonk in a few more fishing docks. But I guess the question now is, there's some fields and stuff that we haven't built that we've got available. So, I kind of want to do that and push the food a little bit more because we do drop a fair bit. Although, having said that, we're now maxing out right now. But I want to expand. And I'm not... can't really expand on houses yet because, yeah, we don't have enough of that. So I figure it must be time to do a few more fields and that sort of thing. But this trader has sheep and chickens. Just out of interest, uh, we could order livestock from them because they're the livestock trader. <laughs> but whatever. As you can see in the top left, we've got a whole heap of tools and a whole heap of clothes. Let's just check whether what tools we're making. So we're making steel tools at this blacksmith. And at the original, we're still making iron tools. So let's change that to steel. So now we've got a lot of iron and coal. We're making warm coats at that tailor. And I'm pretty sure we're making warm coats at the other tailor down here. Yeah. It's all good. But I kind of want to get a pepper crop in. Because I think peppers would be fun. Well, fun. I say fun. I mean useful. So let's just get rid of any stone that might be sitting here and we'll get rid of this iron that is sitting here. And probably about time we put a barn in down this way. Let's pop it right next to the school there. That'll do. Let's speed things up so they get, get shit done. And let's have a quick look at can we fit a, oop, a crop field in here? Yeah, we probably can, hey. That's as big as we can go. Let's drop it in. Because then we can put houses around it kind of thing on the coast here. And we can fill up that space. We can use that space, I should say. Let's put a road up the side here. And let's continue it down here to the end of the field, which will be there. 
and we may even decide to put in a market over here which may seem like a bit of an odd choice but markets are really good <laughs> I mean they've got this area covered here It'd be kind of nice to put one here to cover this area a bit more and same with over here now that we've got this market here which covers all the way down here we can pop one in over here as well in fact we'll probably build up this area a bit more because this halo comes out to here so yeah we can fill this area nicely now at the point at the moment because we're in a position where everything is kind of ticking along nicely and you know there's not a lot of up and down back and forth let's set that to pepper so I'm pretty sure we don't have a pepper field but I'll go around and check as we do this pepper there okay wheat cabbage is there another one up here no but anyway we can push our growth a bit more because now we're in a position where everything is pretty stable and pretty uh, regular so there's not really a need for anything <laughs> I mean there will be need for another iron mine soon and of course another stone cutter eventually but we'll keep pushing this up this way we can pepper some houses in between but we'll keep pushing that industrial stuff up this way just to kind of keep it away from all the nice little towns and that sort of thing that we're building but let's have a look at what we have available to us hospital we could build another hospital the only reason we'd need to is so that the sick people when we have an outbreak of something they have less far to travel to get to this hospital because essentially if they have to travel further then I think or I imagine there would be more risk of infecting people along the way or there'd be more risk of that person who's sick getting sicker or I don't know suffering in some ca capacity on the way to the hospital because it's so freaking far away so we will probably put a hospital down here though I think because that would make a little bit more sense but I want to get actually a well let's sneak a well in there behind the barn yeah just in case they need it and we can bring that there so they have access to it and we can even do a bit of that just so it's nice and accessible for everyone as they go cool that field is now going Oop, don't put a stone road there peppers are being grown beautiful let's jump over and see how our families are going now that we've given it a little bit of time 97 of 84 yeah might be worth putting in some houses here we can definitely build a road here because we'll put some houses up this way but what else have we got to build what else have we got to build orchards pastures fishing docks oh I'll just quickly increase the amount of farmers so that we have people working it uh, fishing docks yeah hunting cabins gatherers huts could put another tavern in down this way probably do that and we could probably put in another blacksmith or someone down here as well although we don't really need to because our smithing and everything are doing fine pecan seeds bean seeds pepper seeds walnut seeds and squash seeds I'm pretty confident that we've got those uh, where are we? We've got squash there, yes. Pepper. Beans, pecan. Cherries, chestnuts. Come on, okay. I'm still. There's one more that we haven't got. In fact, let's just quickly slow this down so he doesn't fuck off too soon. What can we order? You're the general goods merchant, so apples. Do we have apples? Cherry, chestnut, peach, walnut, plum, pecan, pear, 
bean, cabbage, corn, pepper, wheat, squash, pumpkin, potato. So I'm not sure. Oh God, I'm gonna have to. I'm not sure about apple, pear, pumpkin. Yeah, I'm not sure about apple, pear, and pumpkin. So let's have a look at the old chart. Let's see what we've got. Uh, apple, yes. Pear, yes. Potato. We don't have pumpkin. So our missing one is pumpkin. Huzzah! <laughs> oh, where are we going? Over here. Uh, you don't have pumpkin on you, do you? Nope. 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 Let's order some pumpkin seeds. Where are you? Pumpkin seeds. Uh, just once. I know we can probably get them from another merchant down the track, but... Jeez, this one's here now, so... <laughs> We're going to use that right now. Let's do... A couple of houses over this way. Bam. Bam. Now, there really is no need for us to be building another blacksmith or anything down here just yet. But I will build a tavern, because why not? Let's put it facing that way. Bam. And our cattle are maxing out. So we could expand our cattle production as well. Like That might be nice, because then we'll get lots of leather. And the food, but leather as well, more the point. Um, we've got plenty of people here. I dread to look at what the pathing is like at the moment, so I'm not going to. <laughs> Taylor, blacksmith, herbalist, forester, woodcutter. How are we going for fuel? What's our limit on fuel? Fuel, 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 firewood? Fuel, fuel 3,000, okay. And we've got 2,800. No worries, and our labourers are still packing up. Let's pop a couple more builders in to get this shit done. <laughs> that mine has got 14% remaining. Might be time to plonk another one. Let's do it. Where can we go with this one? Oh, right there. Why not? <laughs> Line them all up, I say. And we can get bit of a road going. Oh, we can't go up there. Oh, there's a bit of a hill there. Oh, it'll be a bit higgledy-piggledy, but it'll do. Can we come through here? No, we can't. Oh, okay, so we can't get through there with the road at all. That's a little bit disappointing. But we can go up here. Oh, just. Oh, no, we can't. My goodness. They're not going to be able to do it. They're going to have to come all the way around this way or walk not on a road. Because <laughs> of these little bumps in the landscape here. And this bump in the landscape here. Yeah, see that little red bit there. Red, 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 red. Oh, look at all this. Yeah, I can't get around there. Oh well. No worries. This will have to tunnel through here eventually, probably. And yeah. <laughs> we can sort it out that way. In fact, where would a tunnel come out if it was here? Up there. Well, that would be kind of in line with that. But we don't need to do that right now anyway. But we do need our iron mine to be built so that when this one dies out, it'll be nicely covered. Let's get another brewer onto the scene. And what are we doing here? Cherries. Let's make a nice cherry ale. Whoops. Uh, work. Yes. Oh. <laughs> cherry. How about that? No, work. Yes. Okay. Good. <laughs> what are you doing? Peach? And I think the other one's apple. Yeah. Cool. Alright, well, that's pretty cool. Let's pop a tunnel in here. Just because. <laughs> I like tunnels. 
Do that. And let's do. No, let's not do that road quite yet. We can pop a couple more vendors into the scene. And we can even pop a couple more vi mi viners. miners into the scene. These houses are built. Lovely. Haven't really got a lot done this episode so far. <laughs> it's a bit, um... 106 families to 86 houses. Wow. We can definitely plonk a few more in. Now, I wanted to get a couple more down here. Like so. You're not going to fit there, are you? No, okay. Cool. Can I fit one there? Yes. And we'll put a couple in here as well. Look at that pub with its balcony. I love the way this building looks. It's so good. Such an awesome building. Get these peppers all nice and up close. Oh, people are dying. Like, there's no tomorrow. Holy cow. Our graveyard's looking fairly full. Although it's only about 50% full. Oh, a bit over 50. More like 60-ish. Probably do with a stockpile down here, even though we're not getting anything that needs a stockpile. But what they do is they do transfer things from one stockpile to another. They didn't fill in the gaps with stockpiles. <laughs> that could be a little weird, but yeah, let's not say that we did. Okay, uh, well, clear out these trees, please, because I can't see what the hell I'm doing. But if we stockpile it here, just across the road from the barn, that should be pretty good. And we can even orchard here. Yeah, maybe there. Maybe there to bring it in line with stuff. It'll be a little bit smaller. Ooh, keep it in line with that road too. Yeah, nice little pocket orchard there. Did I miss that trader? Maybe I did. <laughs> Who knows? Not I. Bit of road down there. And up here. And up here. Cool. Cool, that'll do. And we'll put houses in where we can and that sort of thing. And maybe some fishing docks or whatever to fill out the space. Ooh, our tunnel's finished. Let's get a road going. And let's bring it out a little. And then up there. Nice. And here we will grow... Hmm. Quick look at what orchards we have already. We have cherry... Pecan, plum, uh, peach, that's apple, walnut, and pear. What can you do? Chestnut? Did I say chestnut in there? Is that the last one we have? Chestnut. And we'll assign some farmers to that. Chestnut, hey? Chestnut. Chestnut. The nut of the chest. The chestnut. Nope, that's it. Cool. And then I think we've got all the varieties of orchards as well. After that. It's pretty rad. I'm happy with that. Very happy about that. Let's see how many houses we can build without wrecking things. Ooh, 100 families in 88 homes. So let's continue our little housing project over here. Ooh, it's not going to fit there. It's going to have to go right there. Let's do three. Let's, let's do four. I know that kind of is pushing it, but... Hey, got to be a renegade sometimes. <laughs> uh... Yep. 
And I reckon that's where we're going to leave it. it. It might be fairly slow in the next coming episodes, if this is any way to go, or anything to go by, I should say, because we've kind of filled out this land. We've filled out this land with these guys. I could fill up here, I guess. That might be a goal, because then that'll complete that kind of area around this mountain range. We'll tunnel through eventually and get through to this sort of area. But if we fill up this fairly happily, we can put some more stuff down here as well. Then that'll be that done. This area will be pretty much done. Well, it pretty much is done because we can't do anything around here. And our mines and everything are going to continue up that way. Let's see what we've got for trade. And no thanks. And there are nomads. Maybe we should be a bit risky and accept some nomads. 48 nomads! Wow! <laughs> that's a lot of nomads. 48? That's like a quarter of our population. Well, no, it's not. <laughs> what is our population? Our population's about. Eh, it's about 280 ish. So. What is that? 50 ish? That's about a fifth nearly a sixth of our entire population. Oh, let's check the graphs. Now we've got a lot of adults. Children and students is going up nicely, which is great. We've got 49 children and 46 students, which is fantastic. What about our food? How's our food going? It's kind of hanging in there. 48 new mouths to feed straight off the bat is pretty... It's going to make a dent. A big dent. Firewood is maintaining. Coal is doing its thing. <laughs> Logs and everything should be maintaining. Stones pretty much maintaining. Tools, yep, they're doing great. Uh, clothing is also doing great. Alcohol is whatever, we don't care about alcohol. Everyone's getting fed and educated and happy and healthy and right so if we accept 48 more that'll take us up to 152 families in 88 homes our production is going to take a huge whack we're pretty much producing what we're using at the moment although we're down to 24,000 the food is the worry for me food and firewood that's what I'm worried about if we take in these nomads. But you know what? Let's do it. Allow. I'm going to regret this. <laughs> so much. Look at all the people in the boarding house. We've got 32 homeless. <laughs> oh, wow. We really need to take care of this. Okay, let, let's, let's build some houses. Wait. Where... Okay. 116 families in 88 homes. So yeah, 48 isn't 48 families, it's just 48 people. Uh, let's assign a whole bunch of builders to get these houses built. Let's build some more houses. Let's make this a nice row of houses here. Let's plonk... Can we get any others in here? Get one there. And one right next to it. And that'll open up a whole lot of housing for them boost that along and they can all come live down here and work in farms and we can create new fields and stuff for them and yeah look at them come in <laughs> like a zombie horde <laughs> wow that is crazy that could really hurt us oh our food is taking a dive but it is harvest season well planting season. We've got crops growing is the point. <laughs> wow. Let's assign a whole heap more builders. So they can all quickly build houses and find places to move in and then we'll round it out. Why did something always happen right at the end of the episode where I think I'm going to finish but something else happens and I have to stick around and check it out. An outbreak of dysentery. Just like that. <laughs> Where? You there. Get thee to a hospital. I tell you.
<laughs> Let's see if we can actually square up some following here. Ah, oh, here we go. Get to the hospital before you spread your dirty dysentery germs. Nobody needs that drama. I know it's a long walk. Joyce the fisherman. There you go. Get yourself cured. Get thee to a nunnery. Oh, we've got three. Oh no. Oh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. And I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.